Greetings on the perfect matches name of our Lord Jesus. The word for the week is reality. It's defined as things as they actually exist. We should be totally familiar with Hebrews 11, 11, 1. Now faith is the substance or reality of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. If we are to live in the reality of our blessed hope, our standard of living as believers in Christ the Savior must not be according to our culture, but according to the reality of what is hoped for. By faith, we understand that the universe was formed by God's command, not by some random um, Big Bang theory, okay? In Hebrews 11, read the entire chapter in your spare time, we see how many before us persevered through the reality of their faith in the one true God. I'm totally moved by the diligence and their unwavering trust in the Lord to deliver, to deliver them. Um, their faith was their honor. So it reminds us what real life faith is. Oh, the awesome power of trusting in our Lord for his divine wisdom completely. The unknown may seem frightening, but it is imperative that we walk and think by faith. Although we may not be unable to comprehend what's ahead, our faith alone will aid us in the reality that God will guide us and help us. So today, take that leap of faith. Amen. So this is reality in love reality in love. So let's just go to scripture. So we should maintain an eternal perspective from here on out. Just think on, think on these things, think on heavenly things. So second Corinthians 418 tells us while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Okay. Colossians 2, 5. For though I be absent in the flesh, yet I am with you in the spirit, joying and beholding your order order, and the steadfastness of your faith in Christ. Uh, let's see. Romans 8, 24. Here's a good one. For we are saved by hope, but hope is that is not hope. For what a man seeth, why doth he yet hope for? And finally, we're back to Hebrews 11. Hebrews 11 is a good chapter. Just re refresh on, on faith and continuing in the faith and abiding by faith. These all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them after, seen them afar off, excuse me, and were per persuaded of these and embraced them and confessed that they were uh, strangers and pilgrims on the earth. Sorry, uh can't read my handwriting sometimes so you guys govern yourselves accordingly continue to walk by faith amen and uh chat with you soon be encouraged daily